morning. This is my morning look. And yes, I'm aware that I've been wearing the same outfit for I don't know how long now. I promise I wash it. Um, I have a question for you guys. If you know any great chap lip remedies, please send them my way because this like happened, I don't know when, I think it happened since September, but like around my mouth, not on my lips, but like right at the edges, they would just get so flaky and chapped and almost start bleeding. And that's really not fun to wake up to every single morning. So like I look like I wear lip gloss 24 seven and I look like I wear it like, I look like I'm like one of those freaks that just goes like this. I really don't. I just have to layer on like Vaseline or like Carmex or something, like thick layers just to feel like a normal person. So if you have any tips for me, comment below people. And I just wanted to share what I'm having for breakfast because it's breakfast time. What could it be? Let's see. Oh, it's Shakeology. And if you guys don't know what Shakeology is, you guys should really check it out. It's uh, it's a meal replacement shake, but I don't use it for weight loss purposes. I use it because it has literally, and I've gotten these packets in the convenience um, convenience packages because they're so easy. They're already single serve, ready to open. Um, but they're they're low calories, so if you want to lose some weight, replacing one of these once a day will help you lose weight. I just use it for the nutritional value because. It, I don't know if you guys can see the ingredients list, but it's right here. And this one is vegan too, so this one has no animal products. This has like 70 different herbs and um, it has like, okay, first it starts with like a protein blend. Then it starts with like stuff like um, camu camu, ashwagandha, like these all these like yummy, crazy, and they put a lot of vegetables in here. And it has uh, also has probiotics. So this is like the full thing, like the, the real deal. And I love it. And um, when I was not drinking Shakeology for three weeks for my surgery for prep, because surgeons don't really trust um, herbs before surgery. They don't know how it might react. Because like herbs are not, herbs are, herbs are good for you. Like they're natural in certain amounts and certain herbs, of course. But um some of them might interfere with uh, anesthesia and the like, like some, some of them strengthen anesthesia, some of them weaken it. And who wants to like wake up on their operating table or like not wake up? So I was like, screw it. No vitamins for me, no supplements for me, which going without this just sucked. So I just mix it with almond milk and water. And this one's strawberry, tropical strawberry, but it literally tastes like, um, strawberry banana and I love it. I also love vanilla and chocolate and what I do with the vanilla is I shake it up with coffee and it's just like a frappuccino. Yeah, so that's what I'm having for breakfast. All right. Not to mention, in terms of supplements, and I know this cabinet is a mess, but um, I live with my parents. Yeah, I know. I'm a college student, so I still live with my parents. Um, they're really messy people. Like there's like chocolate just sitting here where my vitamins are. So let's move that real quick. Um, supplements I take, I try not to overload myself since Shakeology already has like your full daily value. But um, I take this guy. I really like, I hope you guys can see it. Like, <laughs> hold on one sec. I hope it's zooming in right. It's called Vitamin Code. It's um, essentially just vitamin C, but it does have probiotics in it and enzymes and all that good stuff. I think it also... Sorry guys, like I'm trying to read it at the same time as show you. It's not even focusing. It has, um, it actually has a lot of herbs in it too. Interesting. This is why I avoided this one for surgery as well. But um, the probiotics really helps after antibiotics because everything in my stomach is essentially dead and I need the help with digestion. Um, I take adrenal. This was given to me by my naturopath. I think you can only get this from your naturopath and I doubt you need it unless you have adrenal issues, which apparently I did at one point. Um, this is actually just me taking raw adrenal tissue 
and um, it helps rebuild my adrenals. Sorry if you can see my finger. Oh my goodness, I'm a horrible videotaper. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I also do the same for my thyroid. I was hypothyroid, but um, I underwent a T3 treatment over the summer, which raised my body temperature by like three degrees, sped up my metabolism. I think my thyroid is doing just fine, but I'll probably do another treatment. Um, if you want to look this up, it's called the Wilson Temperature Syndrome. Um, or it's a totally naturopathic remedy for hypothyroidism, and I promise you guys it works. I feel so good. Ask my family, my friends. Like, I'm never cold anymore. I have a lot more energy, and, like, I feel like I, I can eat more and lose weight easily if I need to. But, yeah, this is just raw thyroid tissue. Helps me rebuild my own thyroid. Um, green tea extract. This makes me feel cleaner. I don't know, like, the, something about this just gives me, like, a detox effect. Instead of, like, drinking 17 cups of green tea a day, I might as well just take it in extract form and let my body get the antioxidant benefits. Um, Activate, these are my multivitamins. They're a metabolism formula. They're from Beachbody, and I love them. Um, they also have a couple things in here that I couldn't take for surgery. I'm trying to zoom in, but clearly... Yeah, you guys can see it has a lot of good stuff in it. And the list continues. It's all natural. I buy vitamins that have no fillers, no gluten, no like stupid crap that they like to put in it. Um, this one's so important to me because growing up in LA where there's sunshine every day and coming to Washington where there's no sun never really messed up my... Um, it just messes up, it messed up everything for me. Like I'm like one of those people I get depressed. So um, I realized I might be vitamin D deficient. And ever since I started taking this huge amount, 4,000 IU, I actually take two of them. Yes, um, I take 8,000 IU of vitamin D because that's what my body needs. Um, some people do not need that much. So in some cases, you guys might think that's an overdose. But yeah, I can't live without this stuff. And of course a wild alaskan salmon oil so this is my fish oil you guys when you buy fish oil please make sure it's wild not comes from farms check the source make sure there's no fillers um this one's a good brand um i actually did not so that was a little awkward sorry guys my phone ran out of memory and i'm thinking of upgrading to the iphone 6 um 128 gigabyte soon just so i can handle more vlog footage and stuff like that but yeah hopefully you got all that you needed out of that supplement video and yes this is a random selfie to keep you entertained just an observation i made you would think a hundred dollar or however much these bras cost would hold up better but this ugly flower is already coming apart from one wash Really guys, like really. But anyway, this is what the surgical bra looks like. If you wanted a better look at it, it just looks like a, like a sports bra with a zipper in the front. And I honestly cannot wait to start wearing regular bras. And you cannot hide this thing. Like it is full coverage. But yeah, I'm really missing working out as you can tell. Still a little bloated. I want abs, you guys. I want abs. Um, still not eating enough. Not enough of an appetite. I had Shakeology for breakfast and lunch, and that's about it. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on all my meals and um, my weight and how it changes. I have a feeling I'm going to lose all that muscle mass that I worked so hard for. But it's okay because um, coming 2015 when I do Body Beast again and have boobs instead of a flat chest um it's gonna make my body look better so i think it's all worth it so remember when i said i'm gonna attempt to um not attempt but fake uh what am i trying to say <laughs> stick to the 21 day fix i swear every time i start filming this is what he does andy okay anyway um don't laugh at me but i'm about to invent a recipe I ran out of protein powder, which is very sad in my life. Um, I need a lot of protein, especially when I do my weightlifting programs. And I have about a protein shake a day. It's 
sometimes two just to get all that I need. But um, usually I make my proats, but instead of proats, we're gonna use eggs for my protein. So what essentially I'm gonna do is take a yellow container of oatmeal, mix it with cinnamon. I got, oh, let me show you guys. I got my cinnamon, I got my stevia, nut extract. I'm gonna take oats, put it in here, yellow container of oats. So that's like your portion right there. This equals to two eggs, but the, my eggs are tiny. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, this is about a normal size egg. And then these two guys are kind of small, so I'm considering it two large eggs, which is about a red container. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to add chia seeds, which I'm considering my fat. And how about we add some peanut butter powder, which is very low calorie and like there's 90% less fat than normal peanut butter. So I'm not going to count it as anything. Maybe the fat will go into the blue container. We'll see. So this is my like dinner because this is like what my appetite can handle, like kind of sweet kind of things. So um, basically what I'm planning to do is take that, put it in here, mix it with water, break the eggs in there cook it, mix it with chia seeds and the peanut butter and all the spices, make it sweet and we'll see what happens. So I'll let you know, I'll let you guys know how it tastes. All right. So as my boyfriend would call this, goop. I honestly don't know what the hell I made you guys, but um, it doesn't taste that bad. As you can see, the texture is really weird. And um, I think, I've made, I've tried this before with egg whites. This time I used the full eggs and the eggs started to solidify. So every minute I would have to um, take it out of the microwave and mix it around. So it's more like a mixture of like solid eggs and oatmeal. But it's sweet and the peanut butter adds a nice taste to it. And you know what? It works for someone who just got out of surgery. Well, not just got out of surgery, but someone with a really weak stomach. But um, yeah. It's not my best creation at all.